In this episode of the Pension Special series, we're going to look at early retirement and how much income you can derive from larger pension pots. Parts 1 to 3 are linked in the description below and before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe. Many of you have written to me asking me to do a video on how far larger pension savings will go and also about early retirement. Now we can't cover every single scenario because that would be an infinite number of permutations. So we're going to run through a few examples to give you a guide and we'll also look at an easy calculation to work out how much you need to save for your retirement. Remember these figures serve as a guide only and you do need to seek professional financial advice to discuss your own retirement plans. So the first question we look at is can you retire early at 55 with a £300,000 pension pot? In the previous episode, we saw that a £300,000 in pension savings could generate between £11,000 and £12,000 a year as a pension income. But that was over a 20-year retirement period. So if you're looking for early retirement at 55, you need to be thinking of around a 30-year retirement period. So we'll run the simulation again, but over 30 years, using the calculator from 2020 Financial, which again I'll link in the description below. And here you can see that over a 30 year retirement period, a £300,000 pension pot could potentially start running out during the last decade of your retirement. In this simulation, we have put the drawdown rate at 4%, which would provide a £12,000 a year annual income. In these simulations, we see that over 22% of them end below zero. And these simulations were run for each 30 year period from 1900 to 2020. So that would be the 30-year period from 1900 to 1930, 1901 to 1931, and so on right through to 1990 through to 2020. So that is 121 simulations. So this is saying that if you had retired during any one of those 30-year periods, 22% of those, you would have run out of money. So to look at that another way, this indicates that there could be somewhere between a 1 in 5 and 1 in 4 chance that your pension savings will run out during your retirement over a 30 year period. So it all comes down to your attitude to risk. Some people may think that's fine and just happy to take that risk. Other people may think that risk is too much and want a bit more security. In which case you'd need to consider reducing the drawdown rate and maybe considering a 3% withdrawal instead of 4%. And with the uncertain economic conditions over the coming decade, there are some schools of thought that believe that it should now be more a 3% rule for your drawdown of retirement income as opposed to the usual standard 4%. So in this simulation, it shows that during some of those 30-year periods, the markets did perform poorly, which resulted in running out of money. And of course, none of us know how the markets will perform when we do actually come to retire. So it is good practice to actually plan for these eventualities. Of course, there are different ways of doing flexible drawdown and you don't have to take a flat withdrawal rate throughout your retirement. You could take variable rates of withdrawal. So with a £300,000 pension pot, you could decide to actually reduce your withdrawal rate once you got to state pension age because the state pension will be making up a big portion of your retirement income. So you could actually choose to draw down a smaller percentage once you started claiming your state pension so that you're actually preserving your drawdown pot to make it last even longer and reduce the risk of it running out. Or you may be happy to just run your pot down gradually during retirement once you've got your state pension and have a more moderate standard of living because after all, the money is no good for you once you're gone. But for early retirement on a £300,000 pension pot, if you're looking at withdrawing about £12,000 a year, that's only going to provide for a basic standard of living until you reach state pension age. So you may find that is a little bit too lean for taking early retirement. Of course, it is entirely up to you how you use your pension savings and you may want to decide to take more upfront and have less when you do actually reach state pension age but do seek professional financial advice to discuss your options. But to keep things simple, we're going to look at just sustainable drawdown in this video. An alternative simple way to determine how much money you need to save for retirement is done by a simple calculation. For this, you need to work out what kind of retirement income you're aspiring to and make sure that covers your essential bills and also your nice to haves, the things that you want to do when you do retire. 
So we'll run through an example with a single person who wants a moderate standard of living and as defined by the retirement living standards that would need an income of 20,800 a year. So the calculation is really simple, we just multiply 20,800 by 25 which is giving the 4% rule and that gives an answer of £520,000. So that is the target retirement part you will be aiming for to get that level of income. But that is for someone who wants to retire early. If you want to retire at state pension age, then you need to remember to factor your state pension into this calculation. Again, keeping things simple, we're going to deduct the full state pension now from this 20,800. And then it is the shortfall that you need to use to work out how much you need to save. So here we deduct the full state pension as of April 2022, which is 9,627 from 20,800. And that gives a shortfall of 11,173. So then you take the 11,173, multiply that by 25 for the 4% rule, and that gives you £280,000. So that would be your target retirement pot savings to generate that level of income to give you a moderate standard of living once you reach state pension age. But remember in the last episode we were looking at how much you need to generate between 11 and 12,000 pounds a year using the simulator calculator and that suggested for a sustainable drawdown you'd need about 300,000 pounds. So this simple calculation provides a rough guide as to how much you need to save and the simulator calculator just puts more statistical analysis behind it. Now we'll look at sustainable income drawdown from higher pension pot values. As a reminder, using the retirement living standards, the moderate standard of living suggests an annual retirement income of 20,800 for a single person and 30,600 for a couple. For a comfortable retirement where you can afford some luxuries, including foreign travel, a single person would need 33,600 and a couple 49,700 according to the retirement living standards. These figures are higher for London and they're shown in this table as well. Firstly, we'll take a look at a £400,000 pension pot and using the 4% rule, this would give an annual income of £16,000. So if you did have your mortgage paid and no other debt, then you may find that you could retire early on £16,000 a year with £400,000 in pension savings. But then again, with inflation running so high at the moment, then you may want to think twice about whether £16,000 would be enough to allow you to retire early. So I run the simulations again in the calculator over a 30-year period with a 4% drawdown rate. Note here that simulations ending in zero over a 30-year period is again over 22%. So the 4% rule is just a guide. And depending upon market conditions when you are in retirement, you may need to adjust your flexible drawdown and take a reduced income to mitigate against volatility in the financial markets. If we adjust the drawdown to 3%, then you can generate an income of £12,000 a year and that would provide a sustainable retirement income. So once you get your state pension on top of this, then you would be pushed up into a moderate standard of living, assuming the full state pension. Of course, there are many ways that you could look at this. You could draw down more in advance and then take less when you do actually get your state pension. Or we look at a different simulation now where you're retiring at 60 and want a 20 year period where this money lasts you. And if we do a 4% withdrawal, giving you a £16,000 annual income, you can see then your simulations ending below zero falls to 2.5%. Now we look at £500,000 in pension savings and a retirement duration of 30 years, assuming early retirement. To keep the drawdown sustainable, we're going to look at a 3% drawdown rate. Using 3%, it gives an annual income of £15,000, where 0% of these simulations end in zero. So this assumes you want an equal level of drawdown through retirement, but of course the beauty of drawdown is it can be flexible and you can take varying sums. If you want your drawdown income to last you over 20 years, so maybe you'd retire at 60 or maybe at state pension age, then we'll run the simulation over a 20 year period. And here we could be generating an annual income of 18 and a half thousand pounds where 0% of these simulations end below zero. And this is at a drawdown rate of 3.7%. If you do draw down at 4% and get an annual income of £20,000, then this suggests that 2.5% of the simulations would end below zero. 
So again, that may be a risk you're prepared to take because 2.5% risk is quite low. If you did wait until state pension age before claiming pension benefits from £500,000 in pension savings and you got the full state pension on top of that, then you'd be getting around £28,000 to £30,000 a year as a single person and for a couple about £38,000. So you could certainly afford a lot more comfort in retirement. For those lucky enough to have saved around £750,000 by the age of 55, then you would be able to retire early. This simulation here using a 3% drawdown rate where 0% of the simulations end below zero, then you could get an annual income of £22,500. So this would provide a moderate standard of living for a single person. And once you reach state pension age, if you added the full state pension on top of that, then that will provide for a comfortable standard of living according to the retirement living standards. If you have around £750,000 by the time you're in your 60s or by the time you reach state pension age, then that would suggest an annual income of £27,750. And this is with a 3.7 drawdown rate. So you certainly could retire in your early 60s with £750,000 in your pension pot and have a nice income. And once you add the state pension to that, assuming the full state pension, then that really is pushing you firmly into the comfortable standard of living. So a single person would have in the region of £37,000 and a couple £47,000. Now we get to the big one and that's £1 million in pension savings. And I appreciate that people achieving this will be in the minority. So those of you who achieve £1 million in your pension savings, then you could be generating an annual income drawing down between 3 and 4% of between 30 and £40,000 a year. So you would surely be able to retire early unless of course you have particularly expensive tastes. Whilst many of us may not reach £1 million in our pension savings at all, some may actually get there by the time they reach state pension age and then they will really have a very comfortable retirement. So over a 20 year retirement period, the calculator here indicates a sustainable drawdown income of £37,000 a year. And when you add that to the state pension, a single person will get around £46,000 and a couple £56,000, assuming they both get the full state pension using the April 2022 state pension value. So if you do manage to save £1 million in your pension pot, then let's hope you're still in good health to enjoy it. So in a nutshell, these simulations show that you really do need to save up rather a lot of money in order to achieve early retirement and for a more luxurious lifestyle. That's all for now, so get saving, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.